yeah, well, being it is the off season and there's lots of things happening. We know free agency is a hot topic right now. So let's talk about what's it like to be a free agent in the NFL. Uh, first, let me clarify. So there's really two components to being a free agent. You have a restricted free agent. That means that you have the ability to shop your services to other teams. But once you get an offer, the team that you're with, they have the right of first refusal, meaning they can match the offer and then you'll stay with the team. Unrestricted free agent, that's where the power swings more towards the player's side and now the player can decide what they want to do and who they want to sign with. So my nine years as an NFL wide receiver, I was a free agent multiple times, but let me just tell you what it was like when I was a restricted versus an unrestricted free agent. Now, when I was a restricted free agent early in my career with the Chiefs, it was interesting because, you know, it's kind of new to this. You didn't know what to expect. But I remember going up to our general manager's office, Carl Peterson, and he kind of threw some numbers out there. And I was kind of like, and he said, well, you probably think you're worth more than this. And I kind of nodded my head. Yeah. And he goes, well, if you are, prove it. Prove to me you're worth more than what we want to pay you. And uh, we'll talk. So that's what I did. We went out there and put the word out that we were looking at opportunities to maybe go to another team and I really wanted to stay with the Chiefs but you, you got to do what you got to do. So the Philadelphia Eagles were very very interested in me. I went up there, had a really good visit with them. They made an offer. It was a pretty good offer. Brought it back to Kansas City. I'm sitting down with Carl Peterson and he goes, he goes, well, I guess I should be mad at you that you went out and did this. He says, but you did exactly what I told you to do. Prove yourself, and you proved that you're worth more, so congratulations, we're gonna match the offer. And when he said that, I was trying to stay all calm, but inside I was like, yes, yes, you know, because I want to stay in Kansas City. My wife and I had a, had a young son, we were just getting stable there in Kansas City. I didn't want to move, but so it worked out for me well when I was a restricted free agent. Now, when I was an unrestricted free agent, this was a little different because it was a point in my career, I think it was my seventh, finishing my seventh year, and it was kind of my chance to make a little bit more money, so I wanted to make the right decision and take advantage of the opportunity. Now, I wanted to be a chief. I did not want to leave Kansas City, it, and it's many players' dreams to stay with one team, but unfortunately, things don't always work out that way, so when I met with Carl Peterson again and they gave me their offer and I just kind of did one of those seriously you know that's what I was thinking like yeah right uh, we're gonna go test the market so that's what we did we went out there and and we we shopped our services the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Falcons were seriously interested in me and we visited bo both teams liked them both and we just kind of made the decision to go with Atlanta but I still wanted to stay in Kansas City and I did something what a lot of players may or may not do is I went back to Kansas City and I gave them the opportunity to match it. I wanted them to match what the Falcons were offering but they said no. I mean they felt that I was not worth what you know these other teams were, were offering me. So you're put in a situation where you've got to move on. So it's too bad. Of course I wanted to stay a chief but you got to do what you got to do. Take care of your family. As, as NFL players, we have a very short time span to be able to make the kind of money we can. So you got to take advantage of it. So, But uh, with free agency hot right now, I know a lot of you out there are probably thinking about free agents. Who do you like? And, you know, tell me. Tell me who you like out there. Uh, go to my Facebook page. Tell me who you like. Who are some of the hot players out there you'd like to see your favorite team pick up? As a matter of fact, comment too. Let me know what you think about this. We're going to keep rolling with this vlog on what's it like to play in the NFL, and I'd love to hear from you.